Okay, hello everyone to episode 16 of this Last of Us Part 1 Platinum playthrough. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be the finale. Well, for the main Last of Us game, this will be, I think, will be the finale. Um, based on what I remember in the show. Um, so yeah, I think this will be it. And then obviously we still got to play the Left Behind DLC, but for the main game, this is going to be the final episode. So let's get into it. We just um, were in the uh, tunnel and Ellie almost drowned. We're trying to save her and then uh, some guys showed up and knocked us out. So let's find out what's going on. We were trying to get our way to the hospital. Let's see what's going on. Welcome to the Fireflies. Sorry about the... They didn't know who you were. And Ellie? She's all right. They brought her back. <sighs> you came all this way. How'd you do it? It was her. <clears throat> she fought like hell to get here. Maybe it was meant to be. <clears throat> I lost most of my crew across in the country. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up and somehow we find you just in time to save her. Maybe it was meant to be. You don't have to worry about her anymore. We'll take care I of her. I worry. Just let me see her, please. You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. The hell do you mean, surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. Find someone else. There is no one else. Listen, you were gonna show me where. Stop. I get it. But whatever it is you think you're going through right now is nothing to what I have been through. I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Because this isn't about me. Or even her. There is no other choice here. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that bullshit. March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. this gift, Joel. Get up. I said get up. I said move. Give me an excuse. Which way? What the fuck are you doing? Keep walking. I said keep walking. <laughs> Where was the operating room? I ain't got time for this. Where? Where? Top floor, the far end. The smuggler, he's in here. Holy crap! Oh, that was that was insane. Um. 
Joel. Joel just went. That was oh, that was brutal, actually. <laughs> Can't believe he just did that. Um. He just he just I don't know. <laughs> that guy told him what he wanted, and he still just put a bullet in his head. Alright, let's try to take these guys out stealthy. Shit. He killed Ethan. What? Ethan's dead. We got a man down. The smugglers escaped. Locate the target and eliminate him. We'll search the other floors. Yes, sir. Search the floor. Find that smuggler and shoot him on sight. Need to heal. Alright, um. Oh, shit. Alright, we got two dudes there. Stay down, Joel, stay down. Spread out! Oh, there's so many of them. I might just have to go guns blazing, maybe. There's guys everywhere. Um, I mean, we do have smoke bombs. We could use that. Anything? Quick, quick. Come on, go, Joel. Hurry up. There's a guy coming. There we go. Let's go. All right, that was good. That was very close, but it worked. Oh, that was a lifeless face. I think they saw me, but they know I'm here now. Keep looking. Ooh, headshot. Another headshot. We're popping off. Oh crap, they got like assault rifles. Oh yes! We can get it too. Oh, we're out. Oh crap, we need to heal. Pump shotgun. Peak. There we go. Oh, yes, we got some more assault rifle ammo. Oh, 
Oh, this is so hard to aim. Oh! oh crap. Sorry, mate. Assault rifle was so re the re recoil on it is insane. We don't even get to upgrade it either because there's no more there's no more workbenches. We found them all, so I guess the only way to upgrade it would be in New Game Plus again. Um, uh, I think we're going this way. Down this way. Oh crap! Stay alert. Okay. Uh oh, these guys coming back. Uh oh. There we go. Any more of you, bozos? They're trying to break through. Um, okay, we're not going down. We've got to go up. Oh no, she's on the top floor. That's right. Okay, hopefully that chair holds. Got the generator back there, getting all the power. Alright, nothing down this way. Huh. April 28th. Marlene was right. The girl's infection was like nothing I've ever seen. The cause of her immunity is uncertain. As we've seen in all past cases, the antigenic titers of the patient's cordyceps remain high in both the serum and the cerebrospinal fluid. Blood cultures taken from the patient rapidly grow cordyceps and fungal media in the lab. However, white blood cell lines, including percentages and absolute counts, are completely normal. There is no elevation of pro-inflammatory cytokines, and an MRI of the brain shows no evidence of fungal growth in the limbic regions, which would normally accompany the prodrome of aggression in infected patients. We must find a way to replicate this state under laboratory conditions. We're about to hit a milestone in human history equal to the discovery of penicillin. After years of wandering in circles, we're about to come home, make a difference, and bring the human race back into control of its own destiny. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who've bled for this cause, or worse, will not be in vain. <sighs> not if Joel has anything to say about it. Yes, Master of Unlocking. Break into every locked door using shivs. There we go, all shiv doors are completed. Nice. Got us some more supplements here. Ammo. Heaps of ammo, my god. We use that, that's at full, full capacity. Make a shiv. Oh, well, we found our shiv doors now, so we don't really need to worry about that. But I'll have one just in case. And here's a firefly pendant. For 
Bryony Stewart soon. And there we have it. Look for the light. Find all Firefly pendants. There we are. We have found every single Firefly pendant in the game. That's another collectible down. We're on a roll here. Alright, but let's keep going with the main... What we're here to do, we're here to save Ellie. Get some more supplies. Another tape recorder here. It's 5.30 p.m. on April 28th. I just finished speaking, I don't know. More like yelling at our head surgeon. Apparently there's no way to extricate the parasite without eliminating the host. Fancy way of saying we gotta kill the fucking kid. And now they're asking for my go-ahead. The tests just keep getting harder and harder, don't they? Exhausted. I just want this to end. So be it. There you go. She doesn't even want to. She's struggling with doing it as it is as well, Marlene. She doesn't really want to kill Ellie either. Where do we need surgery to our right? Okay. I think this is just the door to go back out. Yeah, okay. Got some even more supplies in here. What does this say? March 15th, we've finally crossed the Utah border. In a couple of days, we'll be back with the others. Today, the crew was in much better spirits. I've been worried about the morale since Greg and Tan Tania's passing last week. It's good to hear them laughing again. Robin came up to me and said, Thanks for watching over us, Marlene. It was a small gesture, but I needed it. March 23rd, Ellie never made it. We arrived at the hospital. There was much celebration, at least from the others. I guess they're happy to see their old friends. We haven't seen some of these guys in over 10 years. After they told me the news, I couldn't eat. I couldn't talk to anyone. I should be grateful to just be alive, but right now I just want to shut my eyes for a bit. March 24th, they look at me and I know what they're thinking. They were a bunch of incompetent grunts. What was I supposed to do? I thought I was going to die. My men were being hunted by the entire Boston Battalion. I had to get her out of the city. How was I supposed to know the Firefly escorts were already dead? God damn it. I panicked. In the end, I healed pretty damn quickly, and my men were more capable than I, give them than I gave them credit for. More than a handful survived the army's attack. I should have kept her with me and said I handed off to a couple of smugglers. I failed you, Anna. I failed at all of us. I am an incompetent grunt. April 25th. I can't stand talking to any of them. I don't think I can take the stairs any longer. No way I can stay here. April 28th. One of our scouts just radioed in. He spotted an older man and a young girl entering the tunnel by the bus terminal. He thinks she might have had red hair, but he's not sure. What if it's her? Stop doing this, Marlene. The recon squad is about to head out. I'm going to join them. April 28th. When you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. Firefly motto. She's alive. They're running the tests on her now. I can't tell if I'm excited, scared, or just nervous. All I know is my hands won't stop shaking. Wow. So Marlene's been here for a while now, and she didn't think we were actually going to make it. But we have. Alright, let's, let's go. we got to go to surgery. We got, looks like we got heaps of enemies. Yep, we got heaps of them. Uh oh.
keep coming this way. Come on. Ah, uh, he's not moving. Um. I think we're just going to have to take these guys out, just go guns blazing, to be honest. Oh, well, that's at least one stealth killed anyway. One out of the way. how they didn't hear that. <sighs> oh, they've got two guys on the door. Um, we're just going to have to go guns are blazing here. Unless, ooh, maybe we can use a bottle. The fuck was that? There's nothing here. Whoa! Oh. He's carrying a bow! Oh my god, okay. Crap. Um. The office! Ah, oh god. How'd that miss? Oh crap. Cover me. Move it up. I got your back. Oh crap. Oh, no, no. Crap, that's our last health kit. Um Oh. Oh. Oh god. Any more? I think that's all of them. Oh, that was that almost went very bad. <laughs> that almost went bad. Okay. Let's just get out of here. I don't know why they wouldn't just do that, so then Joel couldn't get in. Hey, Anna. It's been a while since we spoke. I, um... I just gave the okay to proceed with the surgery. I really doubt I had much of a choice. Asking me was more of a formality. I need you to know that I've kept my promise all these years. Despite everything that I was in charge of, I looked after her. I would have done anything for her, and at times I... Here's a chance to see. 
save us. All of us. This is what we were after. What you were after. They asked me to kill the smuggler. I'm not about to kill the one man in this facility that might understand the weight of this choice. Maybe... cool hearing all this backstory from Marlene and well she cares about Ellie just as much as Joel this is it the fireflies in we go sweet Jesus doctor what are you doing in here I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Don't mind me, just... Do we have to kill them? I'm sorry, mate. You're in my way. No! You fucking animal! Carrie, shut the hell up! Joe, come on. Shit. He's over here. I'm getting you out of here, girl. Come on, go, Joe. I got you. Cover the exit. I got you. Come on. Uh -oh. Tell me which way. We got nowhere to go. Go around right to the other side. We're okay. Come on, go, Joe. Now. I got him in my flight. I said, get back. Hey, come on. Stop. can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. And you know it. Look. You can still the right thing here. She won't feel anything. There's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. I ain't done a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure. I'm 
taking us home. I'm sorry. Wait! Let me go! Please. You just come after her. <sighs> well... Like we're walking. Should be a straight shot through here. All right. Well, the plan is Ellie. Pretty, ain't it? Yeah. You'd say that again. The plan is Ellie now, not Joe. Ellie. All right. Now watch your head going through. my age now. <laughs> Don't think I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think uh, I think the two of you would have been would have been good friends. I think you really would have liked her. I know she'd have liked you. I bet I would have. <laughs> Here we go. The final comic, I believe. Singularity. Endure and survive. Collect all comics. Okay, we go. We got the quote and everything. Endure and survive. It's another one of the collectibles done. Let's keep going. We're almost at the end here. Wow, this game is so beautiful. Every single time, every environment just looks better and better. Jackson. It's a little bit further now. How are we meant to get up? Here, I got you. Give me your hand. All right, come on. Hey, wait. <sighs> Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. 
I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear though, to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. Complete part one. Whoa, what a game. The Last of Us part one. The remake for PS5. What an amazing game. That was brilliant. That was awesome. That ending, it's like, I don't know. You're not, you're not sure what to think, whether Joel made the right decision or not, whether he should have let Ellie go on to become the cure, even though she might die, or what he's done and saved her, which doomed everyone else in terms of a cure, but she's still alive at least, which I guess if you think about it is a pretty selfish decision on his part, considering, you know, he could have saved the whole world for one to die, but to save many, but instead he's let many die, really, and just to save one, which is very selfish, but you can understand, um, you can understand why he did it, you know, Joel, um, Sarah is pretty much, uh, Sarah, <laughs> Ellie is pretty much Joel's new daughter, just like Sarah was, this is, Ellie is pretty much like a daughter to him at this point, so you can understand why why he why he did that out of the love for her. It was kind of brutal with Marlene though, especially seeing all the little um, artifacts and uh, recorders you could pick up her journal and stuff and see what her thoughts were. And she really didn't want to she didn't want to do it either because she promised Ellie's mum Anna that she'd look after her and she's had to she's had to give the go-ahead to pretty much kill her which she struggles with a lot and obviously Joel's listened to that too but she's obviously been the unselfish one the selfless one and decided to let it happen um, and then the fact that Joel just <laughs> kills her anyway um, it's pretty, pretty brutal, but like he said, they would probably just keep coming after her, so. I don't know, it's a tough ending, but I guess it, yeah, it doesn't really matter if it was right or wrong, it's just you understand why Joel did what he had to do. And that's kind of the whole theme of the game, really. I reckon... Well, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure what my favourite part of the game would be because there's just so many, so many great, great parts, like what we just went through the other episode with uh, the David in the resort, so good, um, even the, um, or even the giraffe scene, what we just saw as well, but even Henry and Sam, the ending to that is just gave you chills and goosebumps, same with the very beginning of the game with Sarah's death, it just really, really does a good job at getting to you, even though I've seen the show and I've watched someone play through the original game however long ago, um, even, even though I knew those deaths were coming, it was still, um, still sad and, you know, gave you chills and goosebumps, made you feel emotional, that's, that's how good of a game this is, you can come back and play it and still still feel those those feelings even though you already know what's going to happen 
So, yeah. I don't know. Even, I don't know, the whole game is just even meeting Bill, a different character, diff very different to the show. Um, the game is very more, a lot more grim, a lot sadder with how him and Frank turned out, which would have been... <laughs> probably pretty sad to put in a TV show, that's probably why they didn't do it, but I don't know, I like the game version as well, and I think overall I would say, I'd say I prefer the game, just because it gives you, I guess, you know, it's a lot longer, the show is only, what, like eight hours or something, whereas the game, you know, you sink in like almost 20 hours, getting to know these characters, um, finding all these back, little backstories, listening to the dialogue as you play, a lot more of the action scenes as well, seeing what they've actually gone through to get to where they where they are now. Um, I'd say overall, the game is just um, overall better as it gives you more time to see the exact journey they went through over the course of an entire year. From one side of the country to the other, it really gives you that perspective. So I think as a whole, the game is just perfectly paced fits to be, fits uh, together better whereas the show I'd still recommend you watch the show it is very it's very good adaptation they change a few things which actually you know give a bit more backstory to the world they added in some new characters like the whole part in Pittsburgh with the hunters while well, in the show it's actually in Kansas City and they there's like a leader of the hunters this girl who they give backstory to and it just adds to the entire world but overall the show I felt um they kind of, they started off well and then they kind of rushed it towards the end and I don't think there was nearly enough infected in the show as there is in the game. The infected only really appear in like three episodes properly and then other episodes there's like only one or two which aren't really a problem. So that's one disappointing thing about the show I'd say. They should have put more infected in to really give you the weight of what the apocalypse is like. Whereas in the game, obviously, you fight plenty of them, so um, that's one good thing about the game. And then, yeah, the show, they kind of they kind of rush it in the end. Like, there's there's so many parts that they uh, didn't put in. Like, that entire, in the last episode, with the drowning bit with Ellie, they completely got rid of that, which is fine. But, you know, we would have added another element, how she said earlier that she couldn't swim, and then that's what happens. Um, there was just so many little things that... I don't know why they didn't put into the show. Like, even in um, Bill's Town, when you go flinging upside down and Ellie has to try to save you, they didn't put that in. Well, I guess that's because the whole Bill episode is just about Bill and Frank instead. Um, but yeah, there's just so many little things that they, that they didn't put in the show that would have made it so much cooler, I reckon. It would have just given that tiny bit more. So if they hadn't made the show, like, a little bit longer... I reckon it would have been perfect, but still a good show, recommend you watch it, especially if you like the game, and in terms of the game, well, very, very good. Very, very good game, definitely recommend it, great, great story, just one of the best games, of all, one of the best games I've ever played, to be honest, even though... Like I said, I knew the storyline coming into it still still hits you when playing it. And I'm glad I finally got to play it after all these years and on you know the remake, the PS5 version of the game makes it even better, look even more beautiful. Um, I don't know if it shows in the video because it's only 1080p 60, but I'm what I'm seeing it in 4K and it's just absolutely beautiful. So I think I definitely definitely prefer the game but that is what it originally was made for. I feel like the original source material for anything is always better than the adaptation just because it has those, well, most things anyway, not all, but it's just, you know, that's how they, it was originally made for games, not really a show, so. But yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it. I think I'll leave it there. We're still not quite done with the, um, with the game. We still got, uh, a few more, a few more trophies to go. We still got to find all the notes and artifacts, which we will find in um, the Left Behind DLC. Same with the optional conversations and Ellie's jokes, I believe. I think. I hope. Oh, I hope that one. 
is in the left behind DLC. I hope I didn't hope I didn't miss any. Maybe or maybe I did. What's the I swear I did this already. Um, I think I, I must have missed a joke. Whoops, well, we might have to go back and get that one then. I don't know, that hint didn't really give it away. Um, Oh, I think I think the final one should be in Left Behind DLC. Um, yeah, and then we've still got all these miscellaneous ones left behind. These ones are all left behind. This one must be left behind because I don't remember any part in the game where you could where there were humans and infected at the same time. So that has to be in Left Behind DLC. So yeah, we still got the Left Behind DLC to complete, but um, after that. Um, yeah, that should be that should be it. I think we'll get the platinum. So maybe the finale of the final get uh, the main the main game, but we've still got the left behind DLC to go. So I'll see you guys all when we when we do that one and go for the platinum and get this game done and over with. It's been a very good game, very good platinum um, journey so far. So yeah. Thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video, Left Behind DLC. Alright, goodbye.